Okay, it's April 10th, and uh, what we're having here is, uh, I believe, well, I mean, I know from looking at the live uh, GOES satellite map that we are having a HARP downburst, uh, meaning the HARP High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. The transmitter is transmitting energy into the ionosphere right now over my head into my area. So uh, I'm using a coil of wire. I think it's like uh, 32 gauge, 36 gauge. It's about one pound of wire. So it's a few thousand turns and um, we're going to look at the, the signal that's coming uh, from the harp transmitter. And uh, Okay, now it's that, that tall spike that I'm interested in. Um, uh, this this um, signal that I've been seeing here, okay, it's like, let me just stop it. Okay, this signal, uh, let me just get a nice clean one and then I will measure the frequency for you. Wow, that is definitely the harp signal, folks. Let me... Uh, go ahead and make some measurements first just to show you what kind of uh, thing it looks like okay so this is that's 200 Hertz or 4.9 milliseconds this this separation here and then we go to this one okay it's kind of distorted but and then this one is going to be 300 Hertz or something like 3.4 milliseconds and then you have another 200 Hertz period and then another 300 Hertz period and then the whole thing repeats at a rate of 60 Hertz so it looks like a power power line frequency look it's 59.95 Hertz 16.68 millisecond but what is new right now is this big spike right in the middle that does not occur except for when you have the the harp energy overhead and let me explain what I think that is okay I think this is the actual harp transmitted pulse which is at a few megahertz to like 20 to 40 megahertz it pumps up enough energy into the ionosphere that then the ionosphere breaks down and has an arc or somehow releases this energy and that's what whoops that's what this pulse is here and the frequency of that is pretty low it's like 5.8 kilohertz so that's that's 6 kilohertz so that's what we see in the the uh, goes map when the ionosphere re-radiates the harp energy it's at a few kilohertz and that frequency shows up in the clouds as as bars and herringbone patterns but this frequency is the actual harp the actual harp uh, signal so let's measure that These digital scopes are really great. I'll measure from the bottom. It's more accurate. That frequency is 39.06 kilohertz. 39 kilohertz. So that's some kind of AM modulation. 39 kilohertz. But what is this high frequency here? We have some kind of a high frequency uh, built into there. Let's see if I can dig some out. There's something.
So just splitting the difference there. 14.7 megahertz. And just uh, maybe cut that in half. 6.6667 megahertz. <laughs> so what is that? Like a, their joke or something? 6.58 megahertz. This one here, seriously, it's uh, 6.6667 6, 6 6 6 megahertz. Are they trying to tell us something? Uh, but this does look, I mean, okay, these HP Mega Zoom scopes are really nice. I didn't realize they are quite nice. Um, hey, here's something much more measurable. And let's measure from here to here. 18.5 megahertz. 18.5 megahertz. 25 megahertz. Eighteen megahertz, and let's take this one divide by three, six point, or multiply by three. I mean, no, yeah, multiply by three. Six point two five megahertz. So it appears eighteen megahertz may be the actual broadcast frequency of harp. Let me have a look at some of these others. Here's a beauty over here. So anyway, the reason I'm making this video is I'm studying harp and. This is just a rare opportunity to have uh, a look at the signal because I know they're broadcasting overhead right now. Harp is used to shut down rain and they're targeting this area for drought. It has not rained here uh, in three years and uh, they, they want to take over the water rights and kick all the farmers out let me see where am I I just want to try and zoom in here without losing my place huh don't know what's wrong if I go like this I should be able to find it somewhere come on it's a nice nice little envelope let's see what the time is oh, only seven minutes we're good well crap I'll uh, Sure, a beautiful envelope to look at there. And then multiply by four, maybe, you know, by three. Okay, 6.3 megahertz. It appears the harp is actually uh, broadcasting around 18 megahertz, but it's on a, it's modulated onto an AM envelope. That envelope there that's happening at uh, 40 kilohertz and then uh, you know the uh, the ionosphere is periodically producing well once they pump it up it, it radiates that that low frequency 7 kilohertz pulse back. Where's my trigger point? I think I've slid it clear over here. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. Whoops. Missed it. Gotta be quick. But, uh, you know, every time there's a pulse like that, there is actually a, uh, the precursor is a wind-up. There's a wind-up and then a pulse. And that pulse is low frequency, there's no phase, there's no set frequency. That's the ionosphere 
bouncing back or having an arc or whatever. Oh, she pressed the wrong button. Yeah, let's just sit sit there and watch it. And we're going to watch right here for this. That's the harp wind-up energy. So they feed that into the ionosphere. And then once the ionosphere has enough, it gives me the, the tall spike, and I tri I'm triggering on the tall spike. Okay, so and uh, let me uh, show you what I am using to measure this harp signal with, because I'm sure other people are going to need to build this. It is just a very simple uh, coil of wire. It's, I guess it's uh, about a pound, probably about 30 gauge wire. I just put a piece of coax on there and a ferrite rod through the middle. You need the ferrite, otherwise you just don't get any signal. Okay, uh, any old spool of wire. This was a solenoid out of a vending machine, I think. But the more turns you have, the bigger signal you'll get and uh, uh, we all need to go ahead and look at this harp signal because harp creates drought and it is used, being used to melt the arctic ice which will be a doomsday for planet earth if they succeed in getting the arctic methane to come out um, and we may be only a year or two from having this arctic methane doomsday because methane is a hundred times worse than carbon dioxide and there's literally uh, two thousand times more of it than has been released in all of human history about to uh, be vented from the Arctic, uh, shallow Arctic seas. Uh, and also chemtrails stop rain. So with these two technologies, HARP and chemtrails, they uh, are totally able to create drought and heat and accelerate this uh, the death of planet earth basically so if everybody will start looking at this harp signal then at least we can prove that it's actually happening you know why is it so hot and dry and hasn't rained in months you see that signal then you know why Okay, uh, I'll try and help anybody that, that needs help and answer any questions if possible, so hope uh, you guys can build this. But today was special because I, I know there's a signal right over my head because I have studied the maps so much. Uh, you can look at my other YouTubes and hopefully you can see what I mean by the harp downburst. Is, it, is they're pressing this... Uh, cool dry air down to the surface by heating the ionosphere on top of that okay uh, best wishes guys thank you very much